seven days of about five to seven ads that are out there. And again, I call it the Lee Horway. <laughs> We've had 60,000 impressions, 300 clicks to our online form, and about 10 book jobs from those ads. One ran, one sold for 15,000, so it paid for itself tenfold. It's well worth every penny. It's not anything that I wouldn't have done over again. I'm so thankful that Daniel found you and I love the community and you're a hands-on, you know, owner and I appreciate that. Like if we had questions, we can come to you. So that confidence in moving forward um, is really helping us continue, especially with the Google part. Welcome everyone to another client interview um, and today I have the great pleasure of having uh, Christina Simpson from Deco System. Christina, thanks so much for joining. Thank you for having me. So just before our call, uh, thank God I, I, I learned that you guys are not on the path of this uh, upcoming uh, crazy storm that's uh, headed to the Florida coast mostly, right? Yeah. Yes, it's not in our path, thank God. But Helene was uh, was kind of brutal, but uh, thank God everyone's okay. So at least that. Beautiful, beautiful. So uh, really, Christina, um, I, I really want to, you know, for, for myself, for the audience, uh, to, to get a little bit of a, of a background, a little bit of an understanding of what the ecosystem is, what are you guys doing, what... Uh, like maybe just give us a little bit of a background um, of how you guys have generated leads before our local service mastery and then we could just go from there. Awesome. Yeah. So we are Deco Systems Heating and Cooling. Uh, we have been established since 2006. Our owner, Dean Yarrington, um, is the founder and still runs the business. And so we're in Ackworth, Georgia. We do residential and commercial. And um, I've been the marketing manager for over five years and pretty much um, all traditional marketing is what we've been doing, billboards, magazines, uh, radio, and we just really wanted to get a bigger focus on the digital side. We've all, always had um, outsourced our social media work, never really happy with the results. Um, agencies, just I feel like they had too many accounts so we kind of all looked the same spending thousands of dollars with no return and then uh, Daniel he just joined our team he's a special projects manager and he found your company and once we signed up we just immediately started training and it's I'll let you go from there but yeah it's been amazing since then so b b before we talk about you know your experience with with uh, local service mastery which i'm sure a lot of the the listeners and viewers would would want to hear like when you said that you had some bad experience with past marketing agencies and, and you paid thousands of dollars before um what were the services that you were offered and and like if, if you recall like I, I'm, I'm guessing that there are a few marketing agencies so if there are different services, what are with the packages and what did you actually get? Absolutely. So one in particular, um, I'm pretty sure we paid like 4,000 a month and they did all encompassing digital work. So Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google. Um, so anything digital is what we paid them for and our website. So our website hosting as well. Um, and then that also includes organic or, or paid ads on, on all these platforms. This was organic. And so then you have to spend extra money on the budget, but it did include their management fees. Um, and again, it was just, we looked so robotic compared to everyone else out there. You can kind of tell who does their own in house and who pays an agency by the look of their ads. They look very robotic. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, um, so you were working with these guys for how long? Uh, they were already established when I started five years ago and then I started to wean them out. Um, so probably a year and a half to two years. And then we tried a different agency to try to shake it up. Same exact results. 
Um, I did bring someone in house about a year or about two years ago. Um, the ads weren't what it needed to be. Um, so they weren't like the back end campaign. I actually call it the Lior way now. <laughs> um, so we didn't have that strong foundation. We didn't know how to create audiences. We didn't know how to do certain things that uh, we now know um, for Facebook and LinkedIn and all of that. So yeah, I would say within the last year, I took over all the social media since February and you took that game to a whole other level. <laughs> so, um, so the the guy that you brought in house, and, and 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 I'm, you know, deliberately trying to, uh, uh, trying to focus on this because a lot of the the business owners, you know, whether it's they're in the HVAC, plumbing, roofing, whatever services, uh, uh, they're focusing on, all have, you know, different horror stories, but. It, 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 it all like everyone can find something to relate whether it's paying four thousand dollars for mm -hmm. organic you know automatic posting that you have no idea what you're paying for right. um then you you said that you try to bring on someone internally in-house like how did you qualify that they're actually knowing what you know that they actually know what they're what they're talking about um, just their resume and having that conversation in the interview and they showed me their photography. Uh, that's why we ultimately brought them on was uh, she did photography and I loved what I saw. We needed more content, um, but moving you know, six months forward, we weren't receiving a lot of the content uh, that was promised in the beginning. So we had to just kind of shift gears and part ways, we're still friends, part ways. Um, and then I started diving into the content and I was like, my audience really wants to see our technicians. They want to see what we're doing because ultimately my job is to not brand awareness, but also trust. I got to get these new people to know who we are first. So content was a big deal. Um, and that's kind of why we brought Daniel on board too, was he videographer background, um, so he's been helping us with our content game. So having that content with actually knowing how to do a, a campaign on the back end, those two are a perfect marriage. So Daniel's joining the, the, the company and then you're, I'm guessing like at a sort of a crossroad, like w w what are we doing? Like, are we hiring another marketing agency or we're taking it in house? Is this what, what looks behind the scenes? Yeah, so when Daniel got on board, he was just trying to figure out, okay, let's look at marketing from a high level, look down, see what needs to change. Um, and he, we saw that digital marketing leads were our main focus. That's what we needed to focus on, not branding so much. We don't need to waste our money on billboards and all of these things that put our name out there. We need lead gen because as an HVAC industry, it's October and from now until it gets hot again, it's going to go down a little bit. So we need to really hammer in on the digital media. So that was the initial conversation when Daniel joined the team. Um, he's more in the sales role now, um, still helping me with the content, but his help finding you started it. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. And you guys hopped on a call. I was, pretty hesitant because uh, for for the listeners uh back home i almost never um first of all take calls let alone um you know let people who are not the the actual business owners um join the program because our program is focused solely on on the service business owners themselves mastering leads but uh, uh christina here was was able to to charm me and uh I uh, was able to um, persuade me that, that, that she has like the, the full backing of the, the, the founder, the owner of, of the business. And, um, and that if, if it all makes sense, they're ready to go. Um, you guys joined like around a month ago? Yep. Almost a month ago. Exactly. Yep. Almost a month ago joining in like, share with me like the 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 first step so we had our onboarding call what did, what did you guys like leave like with 
with what did you guys leave after the, 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 the initial onboarding call? So after the onboarding call, we knew we had to get to work. We are our, we'll get in our own way if we don't just start your course right away. Um, luckily, I fell sick right after the onboarding call. I had strep. So I was at home and it actually worked out great because I was at home okay. and I just like hit it running. I was like, okay, let's go because I had all the time in the world to get the, some courses done. So I finished the Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram courses within three or four days. And then when I came back to work, I kind of blew Daniel out of the water. I was like, okay, I'm ready. Like, let's go. The Google, we're still working on that because there's a lot to it. Um, you advise WordPress is very important and we are working on that. So we have a lot to do with the Google part. We're excited about it because we do have um, a company right now that is doing our Google ads, but not for long. So once we really like figure that part out, we're ready. But what I have seen with Facebook especially, um, just within seven days, I did some analytics yesterday, just within seven days of about five five to seven ads that are out there. And again, I call it the Lee Horway. <laughs> so it's the back end Facebook campaigns. We've had 60 impressions, 60,000 impressions, excuse me, um, 300 clicks to our online form and about 10 book jobs from it. So we know we have some conversions, you know, rates to work on and, and what our form looks like. We have a lot to work with, but just launching this in house within two weeks, 60,000 impressions, the retargeting, that's so exciting. I never knew what that was and how to do it until your course. Um, it just, it, it kind of just like sparked an interest again in marketing. So to know how to do it in house, and I know I'm not the owner, but I am the director of marketing. I do have that pride again and it's exciting. It's really exciting. That's amazing. Did, did, did you run the numbers by the way? Like what's your return on ad spend? Haven't gone that far yet, um, but I do know from what we're paying, I think it was only 2000 total for all 10 campaigns that have been ran that we did close a job for about 15000 Got it. And then you said that in total you closed like 10 jobs. Yeah, we had 10 book jobs from those ads. One ran, one sold for 15000 so it paid for itself tenfold. Yeah, 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 yeah. beautiful. Beautiful, and and then some. I'm I'm, I'm sure that there are, that oh, the yeah. return on ad spend is going to be much higher, but uh, sometimes mm -hmm. the, the the sales cycles are a bit longer. Oh um, yeah, absolutely. Amazing, and and you said that uh, right now you're working on on Google Ads, which might be a little bit more technical, um, yes. but did it allow you to actually? view the campaigns that, that were set up by the, the current soon to be previous marketing agency in a more critical way, like in, in a more professional observing way than before? A hundred percent. That's where I came up earlier with the, it, we look like robots compared to everyone else. There's no original thought with our campaign. And then we look at it now and we're like, wow, they really just set it up and now it's just an automation thing with them. So we're paying this company thousands of dollars for something we can really do in house. And it sounds scary like to run your own Google ads, but you really helped us with that confidence. Beautiful, amazing. Yeah. And uh, what about SEO, the holy grail of marketing? Did you get to it yet? Working on that. <laughs> that one is still still pending. Yeah, we're, we're working on that in the Google, but I really wanted to like hit home with the Facebook and TikTok. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. So one of my best advices for everyone joining the program is A, make sure to watch each module, you know, at least twice, but as, as, as many times as you need, um, first of all. And secondly, don't jump between modules. So if you're starting off with the meta ads, just master meta ads only then move on to Google ads and so on before you, you get started with the, with the SEO. So you're, you're a great yeah. student. Um, let me ask you this now that, that you guys have been like almost a month into it. Um, who would you say that local service mastery is for and who would you advise not, not to even reach out? Um, I would definitely say it needs to be a director level and up. 
Um, I've, if you want to invest in your marketing team, whoever is in charge of that team, such as the manager, director, I think they need to do it because if we know how the foundation works, we can teach our team how to do it. Um, the owners might be a little too busy for this, but I think they should be involved in every step of the way too. And their directors can um, let them know how it's working and the analytics and your weekly meetings and things of that nature. But I would definitely say my level for sure. I, I, I would add to this, um, and, and again, for for the owner of the of, of Deco uh, Systems, uh, he's very fortunate to, to have found you because I know companies with uh, bigger revenue that, than yours that still haven't found, you know, the guy uh, or, yeah. or the girl. Uh, like someone who, as, as you mentioned, like take pride in their work, in, in the accomplishment and, and everything. So um, it's, you know, he's very fortunate uh, to, to have you, but it's de it definitely needs to be someone who has the the business best interest in mind long term, and it's not someone because what a lot of times happen with founders of you know multi seven figure businesses is that they join a program, you know, make the investment, but they're okay. Let me allocate this to this this person and they don't take the time to learn how to do it themselves and that guy later on leaves like they, they're not even staying with the company so all the knowledge just uh passes along with them and and, and goes into the uh into the next company so even if you're a business owner of multi seven eight figure eight figure company i would advise you to learn it maybe someone else someone else would be like hands-on managing it but definitely take the time to invest because at the end of the day as you know like this is the business the business is to make the phone call uh happen you know that to make the phone ring uh to to, to have the technicians out the, the 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 sales team out um and if if this is your business and you don't know how to do this um I don't know, like for me, it would be a very scary thought, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and who would you say that this this program may be not very relevant to? Well, being in the home industry services, um, we all need this. But maybe if you're, I don't know, I think everyone needs this. If you, it's the day and the age, it's we're, we're in the digital world. So I think it's crucial that everyone kind of knows how to navigate Facebook, especially Google, especially. Um, I don't think this isn't for anyone. Like, I think it's for everyone. I, I think that a lot of, uh, a lot of business owners, especially in the, in the service industry are, uh, are afraid that they're not, you know, technical, that they're not like computer. Yeah. Uh, computer folks like how would you um, characterize the the training material like was it like something that you just need to be like tech savvy or do you think that uh, people are not as technical can can actually not just go through it but actually master it your videos help everyone whether they are really good on a computer or not you go step by step and I love that you show us how to run a campaign, you show us how to create an audience. Um, so those screen shares and recordings, that helped me out tremendously. It was easy to follow. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. amazing. Uh, Christina, any last uh, last thoughts, any, any last thing that you wanna share with our, with our audience? Um, it's well worth every penny, it's, it's not, anything that I wouldn't have done over again. I'm so thankful that Daniel found you and I love the community. So it's not just to figure out the course and move on. I love the weekly calls. Um, I think it's really important to do those. I got to work on getting my camera <laughs> so I can join those. Um, but I, I love the community part and you're a hands-on you know, owner and I appreciate that. Like if we had questions, we can come to you so that confidence and moving forward um, is really helping us continue, especially with the Google part. 
Amazing. So um, I'm really grateful for having you guys. You guys are, are amazing students and, and, you know, like operators. And I love seeing business owners in the program who succeed. Um, let's stay safe during this, uh, these crazy few weeks yes. uh, with all these, uh, these uh, tropical storms. So um, send my regards to Daniel. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys next on our weekly group call. And thanks so much for sharing your thoughts with us and uh, with, the, with the listeners back home. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you.